Hey, JCT drivers, this is Danny Christner, CEO of John Christner Trucking. I uh, wanted to get with you today to talk about uh, the current market situation and kind of what we've been through. Um, you know, from early uh, to mid-March when this COVID thing hit, um, we really felt uh, the impact of that and disruptions to our business, um, all the restaurants closing and stuff. But as food supplies shifted to the retail channels of grocery stores and stuff, we were able to adapt to that and make changes. And I think um, overall what you guys have seen is that our freight has stayed really strong um, throughout the throughout the second quarter and now as we you know get into the third quarter we're seeing similar trends. In fact um, this time of year when we're in the middle of summer we see uh, California get really busy um, spot rates start um, going up and um, you know we try to we're, we're doing our best to try to service all our customers and keep them happy. So uh, I guess from what I can say on my end is that you know, we're in the right space. Our freight is durable. Uh, our customers have really done a great job supporting us. And you, the drivers, have done a, a tremendous job of, of helping service those accounts. Um, you know, I know COVID is still a, a factor out there. Uh, it doesn't seem quite as dangerous as maybe it did when we, we first, you know, first hit the country. But it's still something that we all have to be cognizant of and try to do everything we can to stay safe and, and limit our risk to that. But as far as from a business standpoint, we feel like we're positioned very well um, in the freight market with our customer base, you know, hauling food. Food has proven to be one of the things that um, it still ships, regardless of whether it's a recession or a pandemic or a, a shift in the financial markets, whatever it is, people still eat. And that's what our, our most of our freight is based around. So I'm happy to report that um, we've done a good job with customers. We continue to have new opportunities. And we're always looking to find ways to uh, improve your miles, improve your routes, uh, reduce dwell time at the load and delivery points, and do anything we can to try to support you out on the road and make sure that we line you up with uh, good good miles and, and the, sending you to the part of the country that you want to go. So nothing's going to change there. Uh, we're excited about finishing out the rest of the third quarter. And uh, in fact, we've got some exciting news I think you're going to be happy about uh, coming from Daryl Christner, our CFO, who's going to talk a little bit about our um, some market pay premiums. Yeah, uh, uh, thanks, Dan, and, and uh, nice job there with the market um, update. And so what we're really pleased to announce um, today is that we are kicking in a market surcharge of uh, five cents a mile. Um, for those of you that have been here, you know, a, wh a while or, or maybe back into 18, um, we did the same thing back then, and so I want to make sure that everybody, you know, understands what we're doing. This becomes effective for loads that are emptied on or after August 1st, so uh, actually this upcoming Saturday, so here in a couple days this will kick in. Uh, it includes all miles, both loaded and deadhead. Uh, all other the pay remains the same, so your base pay is still, still a dollar, uh, the team premium still gets paid, um, the safety bonus still gets paid. This is just an additional five cents a mile on all miles that will go, go directly uh, you know, to your bottom line. Um, obviously it depends on kind of how profitable that you are uh, as an operator, but uh, you know, should be a nice anywhere from a 10 to 15, maybe even a 20% um, increase in take home pay. Um, so good news for everybody. I'm, I'm, we're pleased to be able to, to, to do this and um, you know, hopefully the phrase stays strong for us and uh, We'll keep going from there. Dan, you guys. Yeah, I think it's an indication of in the space we are, you know, there's so many sectors, whether it be, you know, energy or oil related or some other consumer um, items that have just really fallen and are, have, are look, don't look like they're coming back anytime soon. But being in the food space, like we talked about, our freight continues to stay strong. The demand for our services is, is good. And, and we've got to have, you know, operators and labor to service our accounts. So. Um, what, anytime we can make an adjustment that we feel like is, is relevant to the marketplace and it's going to be meaningful to our drivers, that's what we're going to do. And uh, then, you know, we'll go back to our customers and illustrate to them, you know, what it takes to service their needs. And, uh, and, and, and you know, as, as we get into through the third quarter and into the holidays, we'll be looking at this uh, for any further adjustments. But for right now, I think this is reflective of what's going on in the marketplace in the temp-controlled food sector and maybe not so much in other sectors. But um, if we stay in this space and, and keep doing what we're doing, then I think our, we have steady work and, and profitable routes and, and a, a model here that guys can really be successful with.
Yeah, yeah, good job, Dan. I just want to make sure that, that one more time that everybody completely uh, understands this is just an additional, you know, five cents a mile, all miles, both loaded and deadheaded. There aren't any requirements. There's no caveats um, like you see with a lot of uh, some of these other companies and some of these, um, you know, things that they advertise in terms of additional pay or bonus pay or sign-on pay. This is uh, five cents a mile right to your bottom line, uh, kicks in on loads emptied on or after August 1st, and uh, we'll go forward from there. Yeah, be safe out there, guys, and uh, keep trucking. Thank you.